Hello and welcome friends! Frenzy here bringing you Kerbal Space Program Mod Overview Action. Today we're looking at procedural parts. Uh, you can see we're in the VAB. We will spend the majority of this episode in the VAB uh, because this really is a kind of a part building mod. It's very focused on building. Um, obviously it has some effects on what you're doing when you're flying around as well. But for the most part we're going to spend our time here. Uh, one thing you see me doing, and I believe I should point out this uh, I believe this is a Freedom Textures mod that goes along with procedural parts that you can get. So you get to change a lot of the textures so you can have a really cool looking rockets as you see me making it all one color. Uh, if you're kind of like me, you like visually pleasing rockets, this mod is pretty awesome. Uh, if you like building kind of realistic looking rockets, also a great mod. Um, for this, I'm going to try to... I should point out, I'm not a very accurate Delta IV heavy rocket, um, but that's what I'm going to try to aim to, because it's kind of an interesting rocket aesthetically in the sense, you know, it has some different color schemes going on. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going to be aiming for. So just show you some of the functionality of it. You can see you can adjust the size. I believe it's all the way up to 7.5 meters. So that's fairly significant. Uh, I think it's also one of those must mods. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't play as much... Um, real solar system, but it will be a mod I will highlight at some point. But I think it's a very good mod for, for that, from what I've seen, what I've understood. Um, so I highly suggest, you know, if you're doing real solar system, you get definitely get those procedural parts. You can see on the left-hand side panel, uh, kind of a procedural parts tab that I made. Um, you'll see some wings in there. That's actually from procedural wings mod. So just full disclosure there, just a heads up. Um, those are not with procedural parts. Those are procedural wings mod, which I'll cover at some point too. Um, but within the procedural parts, you have procedural batteries. Uh, you have procedural heat shields. So if you have deadly reentry, um, that's awesome. Procedural stack decouplers. Um, one of my favorite things they have is procedural batteries. So you can uh, have batteries right on tacked along in there. So that is really cool. Uh, procedural xenon tanks. You can also see procedural SRBs. So there is a lot of functionality. Um, I know I said this is great, like if you just like aesthetically pleasing rockets, realistic looking rockets, but it is extremely functional too. So if you know you want a certain, you know, del if you have a certain Delta V budget that you want to hit, um, you can hit it by just, you know, adjusting the length of a rocket as you've kind of seen me doing, you know, very easily as opposed to having to toy around with Okay, you know, here's this modular part. Um, you know, it kind of one size fits all. If it's too much delta V, I don't want that much delta V. You're kind of stuck with it, unless you can find a part that's you know in between. This just makes it a whole lot easier. Um, truthfully, you can also adjust the mixture of your fuels, so you can change these rockets as you see me right clicking um, to pure liquid fuel, pure oxygen or oxidizer, I should say rather, for uh, Kerbal Space Program. Um, so there's a lot of different options. You could probably even get really creative with it, perhaps much more so than I could, uh, as you see me kind of toying around here to get this Delta IV rockets looking correctly, as I seem to be failing to do so. But it's one of my favorite mods, um, simply because it just lets you really do what you want with the rockets. You're not limited by... Um, the parts, even if you're using mods, you know, you can make, almost make your own parts, which is really cool. And I can understand why some people might not be averse to that. Maybe it seems like it's cheating or, you know, making things easier than it should be. But I think it's a really valuable mod and one that you should really check out. Give it a shot. Um, see if you like it. Again, one thing I'm going to be doing here in a second is using, they have a liquid procedural, liquid tank cones so you can have some aerodynamic rockets with also having some functionality built in there too again whether that that's necessarily realistic or not <laughs> probably not to be honest but um very cool to do nonetheless um you can see all the different shapes and sizes and things you can do with it me trying to kind of get it to what's kind of a look a nice look for the delta four rocket um, which is, I think, one of the really cool functionalities of this, uh, you know, is that you can really build some really cool looking, you know, rockets, you know, straight out of history. And for me, I love doing that. 
you know, whether that's Apollo or just a Delta IV rocket, um, you can only imagine you know, the different places you can kind of go with a mod like this. As you see me naming it, throwing on a procedural fairing, again, not part of the procedural parts mod, um, something that I'll go into rather soon um, in one of my other mods, mod reviews. So just a heads up on that. So that's using procedural fairings mod, again, different mod entirely. Um, just kind of focusing on the fuel tanks and the parts for the most part today. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have any comments or suggestions, if there's any mods you want me to take out, feel free to let me know. But I'll see you guys next time.